Hello, welcome to my Crusader Kings 3 After the End beta tutorial. This will show you how to install After the End. It is a mod for Crusader Kings 3. It's post-apocalyptic North and South America. It's really cool, really fun. I'm excited to always play it. Uh, they update it constantly. It's not finished yet. It's not on the Steam Workshop, so this is why you have to go through a little bit of hoops to uh, install it. But still fun to play. I'm going to show you how to install it. They, the best place to find it here is either on their Discord or on their Reddit. Uh, if you don't want to join a Discord or anything like that, you can just go to the Reddit after the end fan fork right here and just install it from here. Uh, when you install it, it'll be a mega.nz file. Just hit download. You'll be able to get it. Uh, and then you're going to want to follow the steps that they have on their link here. It's a Google Doc. Uh, you want to install WinRAR. There are other places uh, people install their extracting files from. Uh, I just use WinRAR. I recommend you guys to use it too. It's free. Uh, it'll recommend you to buy it, but you just always hit escape. Now, you want to go ahead and install the mod. You want to open up your Crusader Kings 3 folder here. You want, right when you're about to play it, you want to go into all installed mods. And then you want to go to upload mod. So when you upload a mod, you want to go to create mod. Create mod right here. Just name it after the end. You can do whichever version. Right now it's at 9.0. Uh, you can name it whatever. You can do version whatever you want. And then you want to in the directory. You want to just name it like after the end. ATE. Whatever you want to name it. It'll create a folder. And you also want to check mark total conversion here. And then you just hit create mod. So this is what it will show up in your folder. You'll have after the end right here. It'll show up. At, this is all my Steam Workshop stuff. Ignore all that stuff. Uh, it'll then show up here after the end. That's what I typed in. And it'll have after the end dot mod here. Leave that there. Okay. Just leave it outside. I don't know what it'll do. Just leave it you don't want to cause any problems with your mod folder and in after the end right in here that's when you want to use WinRAR so this is where you'd have it installed when you check your downloads open it WinRAR open you want to go into the folder right here after the end dash ck3 that's what you want double click that you can either extract to and roll up to Documents Paradox Interactive Crusader Kings 3 mod slash after the end. That's where you want it. Remember, all of your stuff is in your Documents folder. Everything for Paradox Interactive will be in your Documents folder. Everything for your mods. Crusader Kings 2, Crusader Kings 3, Hearts of Iron 4, Europa Universalis, Stellaris. Everything will be in your Documents folder. You want to go in there. You want to go to Mod slash mod after the end that's where everything is going you can either extract it extract to like it should or you could just simply copy everything copy it all down and click and drag to this folder this empty folder right here it'll be empty click and drag this is what it should look like uh, you should be able to have everything here uh, in a I'll have that as a list form right here that's how it should look like. Okay. What you want to do is, even if you're updating the mod, I'm not even joking. Even if you're updating the mod, just delete it. Delete this folder. Delete the after the end dot mod. Delete all that. Okay. Because you could run into some problems. Crusader Kings 3 has this weird thing where you're trying to create a new mod. It'll be a whole song and dance. You have to update it. You have to do some renaming. You have to create a new folder to simplize that. Just to make it way better, just delete your folder. If you're updating, just transfer the stuff into here, okay? Just whatever the new version is, just delete your old mod folder. So it will delete your saves. So uh, It might delete your saves. Uh, you know, it's not finished yet, so just that's what we're going to have to deal with. So, once you have all that stuff done, you can get into Crusader Kings 3. Uh, right now, it's updated to the current version, but if you ever have to do a new version, say they come out with a, a new 
mod, a new, uh, not new mod, a new update for the game, you want to go to properties, betas, and scroll down to whatever new beta that they're using, uh, whatever the mod's working, uh, 1.9.0, 1.8.2, stuff like that. Then you just want to hit play, and then, uh, hope that it works. You want to have it added to a playlist. I have it after the end, it's just by itself. You can try and figure out other mods with it. Uh, I say be careful because it is an open beta. It could be buggy. You never know. Uh, the barbershop mod and stuff like that should work. Hit play. And we'll see if it works. If you guys have any other questions, just let me know. I'll try to answer them in the comments. Usually when you have other stuff open, Crusader Kings 3 is a little... Uh, confused over what's happening so oh, there it goes so it takes a bit if this is if this is what you see you see the artwork for after the end you're good you're doing it good if you see og ck3 artwork something went wrong okay you want to see their artwork you want to see after the end you want to see that top left after the end initializing game if you do not see this it messed up something you did you must have missed a step something like that i'll provide the links to the document, the Reddit, everything in the video. Uh, but this is what you want. You want to see Lincoln, people worshipping at the Shrine of Lincoln. It'll take a while to load. I even have a good computer, but it's just going to take a little bit to load because, uh, well, it's a mod and it's a pretty big mod. So I hope you guys are hope you guys enjoyed the mod. Oh, look like it crashed. Okay, something happened. Sometimes that happens, sometimes uh it worked last time, so whatever happened. Messed up. So we'll figure this out together, boys. Play again. Hopefully it loads up again. See, it's a open beta, so you have some uh, some issues. If you're getting more than one loading screen, it should be good. I haven't seen this one, this artwork before. This is pretty good. I like that. These are the Vikings versus uh, Knights of Detroit, maybe? I'm not even sure. Pretty good artwork, though. See, once you hear that, music's working. Once you hear the music, that's a good sign. And boom, you got it. New game. There's anybody you want. And boom, so you see how the map looks. This is North America, South America. You can play anywhere you want, guys. Really cool. Now, I do have a mod, have a video on how to change the map from looking like this, more like this, how we usually see America. So, boom, you got uh, New Orleans. You got the Holy Colombian Confederation. You got the President. You got the Old Dominion here. You got New York. Even got the Statue of Liberty. Uh, you got the Vikings here. The Green Bay Packers are Vikings. I love it. You have the old uh, Comanches. You have Oklahoma. You have the uh, Guru type uh, Californian people. You have the Mojave, Mexico, Neo, uh, Neo Mayan. You have Brazil. Everything like that. You have Viking. You have uh, pirates in uh, in Colombia here. I think there's Jack Sparrow here somewhere in Tortuga, but you have to find them. So yeah, there's a bunch of stuff you can do. There's people that worship voodoo, in Louisiana. People that worship the Mothman, the Omen Tellers. People that worship uh, the 
Diabolic, the people that worship HP uh, Lovecraft's people. I did a video on that. Uh, very fun. But if you guys have any other problems, let me know. Uh, I'm glad I could show you guys what to do when it crashes. Uh, just try to replay it. Um, again, if you don't see the videos, if you don't see the music, if you don't see the pictures, if you don't see, hear the music, something's probably wrong, just restart. Alright guys, thank you all for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one.